Nobody does well. He got banned for doing well. <laughs> yeah, no, we're going to plan on doing, like I say, we're going to plan on doing the uh, VAT Sim FNO in San Juan, going into San Juan. I don't know where to take off from. I'll, I'll, I'll maybe find a Caribbean island that's within three, 400 miles and go to San Juan that way. But, um, in fact, I'm, I might do VAT Sim today or tomorrow. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But I'm on Pilot Edge now, my favorite network. But I do love the VAT Sim now. I could be an FO for a Piper J3 shared. Yeah, there you go. Um, there's a new Piper J3 that just got, uh, just got updated or released. Um, there was a, in the, in the Jumpfly Discord in the news channel, there is a new J3, I think it's for P3D, that just got released. Uh, you're doing some South American ops in the 727, that's awesome. Okay. Oh, that's loud. All right, we're like I said, we're just doing a quick f uh, tour of the uh, flying around the airport here for a bit. So I'm gonna turn on my turn off my taxi light, put on my navs and strobes, and landing light, and let's go check out this awesomeness. I might I might even do a little bit of uh, night uh, uh, reconnaissance here. I feel like I need to be able. Oh crap! I don't want to do that. Uh, I don't want to do that. So let's go back to FS economy. Uh, X economy, open X economy. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Just flying around. A2, yeah, A2AJ3 was updated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I, that's what I read. Thank you, Joe. I feel like I need to be a little bit higher. Yeah. Or a tall guy. Here we go. Like I said, we're just going to fly around and take a look at the airport a little bit here. And then we'll do the pilot edge flight on FS economy. Oh, there we go. Oh, you know what? We're too high now. Now I can't see out the window. You should be able to see like out the window like that. <laughs> All right, let's just do some illegal operations over here. All right, yeah. There's new. There's new uh, PBR for some of the the you know the ground. And also the uh, vehicles have got PBR. I need to go find the article that shows all of the uh, the differences for the, the the new update. One, I think it's 1.5 for Salt Lake City. But the terminal looks fantastic, and I'm only getting 40 frames here, boys, and I'm streaming, so it looks. Yeah, he's updated this. I believe it's got Sam Gates enabled now as well. I think I've got to go. I got to go read all the. Uh, all the things. I did not see Steve-O's video. You're talking about the one where he has like a, a system malfunction or something? I, I saw the the thumbnail for his video. I haven't watched it yet. Man, this looks awesome. It's really sad that they closed this golf course. What a waste of... of that was so stupid. It was one of my loves to play that course. It was a... Uh, it was a, how shall we call it, a Lynx style golf course, and it was fantastic, and I was able to play it the last day it was ever open. There's, yeah. Yep, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that's a golf course, though, because it's more like a field now. But, yeah. Let's see if we can do a quick. Of course, we showed the Easter egg the other night on the seat back pocket. Um, the seat back pocket, uh, uh, stream there's an Easter egg if you guys want to see it I'll show it to you again beautiful texture modeling what a fantastic airport I 
I don't see Salt Lake City uh, online very often on VATSIM. Um, and I, I was trying to become a controller for them, but they're just not really active right now, I think. Yeah. Armchair Aviator, how you doing? Who's who's John 747 Fly? With the misspelling of John. That terminal looks fantastic. Alright. Many of you have seen it numerous times, but here's the Easter egg. If you come if you go down here, I gotta remember how to do X Plane camera. Come down here. All oh, the trees look fantastic. Come down to the train. And there it is. The Global Sim Alliance. This is a Twitch team. You can click on the GSA below. my Right next to the title of my stream. You get a list of streamers. And, just so you guys know, not to brag or anything, but Mr. X, short final design. He's so awesome. I took this picture of this of this train. I took this picture of this train, and he incorporated it into the sim. I also took many pictures of the right here, like the skycap ticketing. We did my wife and I. We did video and pictures of of that stuff. <laughs> it was so fun. It was so fun. It what was terribly funny was when she was hanging out the window of the car in the real world as we drove through the terminal with her. She's hanging out the window filming the terminal and people were just like, what? Security almost got called. Anyone, anyone else hear Dr. Loveless from Wild Wild West in their head right now? <laughs> Is that like a... I actually haven't seen that. Let me change the night. I wish P3D had this ability to go from... Look at this. I'm going to go from night or day to night. We'll, we'll, we'll do dusk first. Well, kind of an in-between dusk. I fully expected security to have issues with you filming the airport. Yeah, I mean, she's hanging out the window and I'm, we're filming the terminal. You know. Night lighting looks fantastic. Jeez. And we're not even nighttime. Let's go check out the... Uh, I've noticed sometimes I have static aircraft here and sometimes I don't. Is that, why is that? Is that my graphic settings? I don't know. All right, let's lower the sun. I'll take a little closer look. Playing Ben. The FNL was so fun last night, Ben. It was so fun. It it I it blew my socks off. I I just I think I'm doing it on a regular basis. And I I made a I made a, a few mistakes. Uh, not not with the plane. Like I followed all of the ATC with regard to speed and altitudes for the for the most part. I just had a couple of protocol radio screw ups, you know, the whole uh, cleared ILS 3.5, and I was like, expect ILS 3.5. You know, small stuff when you're nervous and you're streaming. But I had so much fun, Ben. It was so cool. They're pretty addicting. Yeah, I, I, th I th you know, I've been habitually doing uh, the trucking simulator convoys on Friday nights. And I, I honestly believe I'm going to switch to Saturday nights for trucking, which we're going to do tonight. We're going to have an American truck sim convoy tonight. Snack Air Logistics will be uh, starting in, um, I believe, Ogden, Utah. And we're convoying on Truckers Multiplayer altogether. And um, we're going to have a good time. But I think I am going to switch it to Saturday nights because of the FNO. <laughs> it's just too much fun. Oh, and and then you know vat sim vat sim events in general are have piqued my uh, piqued my interest. So yeah, and and we'll also do rec fest. In fact, I I think there'll be a tradition, Joe, of of doing uh, truck simulator 
and then doing Wreckfest right after. Yeah. P3D could uh, ever match the Dusk Nightlight. No, the, no, P3D's got, you know, P3D beats X-Plane in, in several categories, and X-Plane beats P3D in several categories. It's, it's mind-boggling how uh, one platform uh, completely dominates a certain su uh, subject. You know, I've talked about it a thousand times. P3D has better clouds, better weather, better water. X-Plane has better ortho. X-Plane has, you know, better flight models. P3D has better planes in some categories. Not the TBM category, but, um, you know, they're, they're, it's, but it, the cool thing is, is John Fly is now, I'm going to consider myself a hybrid streamer. I'm going to be flying, you know, the PMDG products. I'm now, you know, I'm loving learning the FS Labs A321 and A320. Yeah. Uh, P3D for tubes, X-Plane for GA, except for the 757, this URL not found. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and go out on, on a limb and say the 757 and the 767 is better in X-Plane than it is in P3D. But that's just based purely on my observations of streaming. But you're right. With regard to the 74, the 777, the 73, it's they're they're more complete and yeah. My favorite Airbus used to be the Fly Factor 320 and then uh, the Tolus was catching up to it, but sorry, the FS Labs is now my favorite uh, A320. And I still will fly the Tolus and the Flight Factor. Um and that's the cool thing is we have options, right? All right, let's do a Let's see if we can land this in no flaps landing here. Thank you for letting me uh, do a little small tour of Sole City, my hometown, by the way, for those that don't know. I actually live in this state, in this county. Let's, let's do a little hover. Ooh, a little bounce. I'm not a fan of those uh, touchdown sounds because they're a little bit, I don't know, pronounced. Oh, Project Fly. <laughs> Project Fly is going. That's awesome. Oops. The t the ground handling in x needs to be uh, overhauled. Do you guys agree to that, or is it just my sensitivities on my joystick that I need, need to adjust? It's probably just my sensitivities. But that, with that being said, the P3D NGXU ground handling, the taxi is too sensitive as well. But again, I could change things with settings, I think. Wish I could up uh, do the ATS multiplayer. Armchair Aviator, why can't you? Yeah. Uh, you're going to come over to IAD on Vatsim right now? Oh, you're ground over there right now? Oh, that's awesome. I just did. I just flew into Dulles the other day. It was really nice. I, I I had a frame hit though with lighting. I had to change some some graphic settings. Wolfie twenty six seventy one. How you doing? Kyle Bronco. How you doing? Yep. Yeah. So like I said, yeah. X plane has some ground handling as P three D. You're just a boat. Yeah. Some of the planes you're on rails for sure. But boy, do I love that NGXU last night. It was solid. The one thing that I need to learn how to do is. Um, I got a direct to a waypoint, and it removed a prior waypoint. And then ATC had to, do, I had to do delay vectors for them to sequence me, sequence me back in. And then I got a direct to a waypoint that I had deleted because of a previous direct to a, a, a waypoint ahead of that waypoint. I hope that makes sense. But what I'm saying is I need to learn how to keep a waypoint in there but put a waypoint above it. Do I just click on the active waypoint and then there's like a, instead of the next waypoint, I, there's like a previous waypoint? Yeah, I need to learn that. Is that what I do? All right, let me taxi down here and then we'll, we'll sign on to Pilot Edge. Yeah, it enters it. No, no, no. Well, I could type in the waypoint manually, right? In this case, it was... D Diebel, I think it was Diebel. And um, if I take, if I put in, I type in Diebel on the scratch pad, and then put it up at the top, it gets rid of the top one. But 
but if you s maybe zebo you click on the waypoint you want to all right so you do click on the waypoint that you want to move down okay i just have never done that before i've uh, i've done you know sk i've skipped several waypoints and gone to a waypoint and i've even done the direct to no problems but i've never done a situation where i removed something and i want to add it back but i want to keep the the existing flight plan still in there. And so what I ended up doing, I just reload. B. Farney is great, Ben Farney, and he's on Pilot Edge sometimes. He flies a lot of 737 ops. He just said reload the arrival. And so I did that, and it, that was fine. Um, especially because I was on heading mode anyway. But yeah, all right, let's get down here. We got some raids coming in, some raiders coming in from 757 Spy. 757 Spy with the raid. Hello, Spires. Spy, can I call you Spires? Trip Taker, how you doing? Jesus saves, he definitely does. Speaking of tubes and X-Plane, looking forward to the 350. I do want to try the 350, Scotty. I want to try two aircraft coming. Oh, not coming, but I want to try the Flight Factor A350 because I don't, I don't own a 350. But I also want to try this, uh, this Caravan 208 that I have a donation goal for at the bottom. Um, I want to try the 208G1000 to see what it's like, but I want to see if people are interested in it. In it. You did the 757 into Lowy. Oh, that's nice. I took the FS Labs. Um, I took the FS Labs out of Lowy uh, down to Serbia. Uh, Dave, and it was it was a good time. Hope you had fun. And uh, thanks for the raid. Got to refinance some loans. Have a good one. All right, armchair aviator, take care. There's some PBR happening on the uh, taxiway here in Salt Lake City. Oh yeah, look at that PBR. Set my parking brake. All right. 